<clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6 through verse 8. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24, and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Shout one, first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, and Karkadash. Shout one to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout one to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say shout one. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out from RT.com as of October the 4th, 2023. And it reads, South Korea warns North about end of regime. So has vowed to overwhelmingly respond to any possible future attack. And it says uh, South Korea has warned that Puryar Yang would see the end of this regime if it launched a nuclear strike. Also declaring Washington will come to its aid in the event of a conflict with the DPRK. Seoul's defense minister issued a statement on Wednesday in response to the recent developments in North. At the officials, they plead to bolster their country's nuclear arsenal, even codifying the policy in the North Korean constitution. Our military is equipped with the combined South Korea U.S. readiness posture that can overwhelm response to any attack from North Korea. The defense ministry said, adding that if if North Korea attempts to nuke, it will face the end of its regime. It says the statement went on to say that Pyongyang nuclear forces are a grave threat that harms peace and stability in the region, arguing that the country will only become further isolated from the international community if it continues on to press course. During the speech that the Supreme People's Assembly last week, North Korea leader Kim Jong-un stated that the country's pursuit of nuclear arms has been made permanent as the base law of the state. Contrast to the comment from Seoul, Kim said these weapons will help to deteriorate war and protect regional and global peace and rapidly develop nuclear weapons to a higher level adding that the government has merely established the lead foundation for guaranteeing security. The new constitutional amendment came just one year after the legis legis legislative body codified Kim nuclear weapons policy as irrevitable, including approval for permissive use. North Korea has rejected appeals by the South and to the U.S. to abandon its nuclear program in exchange for the promise of sanctions relief. And Kim vowed earliest this year to exponentially boost productions of warheads. He has ramped up missile tests, amending escalation tensions with Washington and Seoul, which has also launched a flurry of war games around the Korean Peninsula. In recent years, despite repeated complaints from Pyongyang, the latest comments from the South Korean Defense Ministry echo passed by, I mean, past remarks by South Korean President Yoon Shil Yo, who warned that North Korea's state will be brought to an end and it should never result to nuclear weapons at the time. The president also touted Seoul's close ties with Washington, which currently maintain just shy of 30,000 soldiers in the country. Matthew 24, verse 6 And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. And for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article from RT.com as of the October the 4th, 2023, and it reads again, South Korea warns North about the end of the regime.
so has vowed to overwhelmingly respond to any attack, any future possible attack. So with that, once again, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Wakar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. Until next time, I will say Shalom.